So, there's, like, just to summarize everything, they claim that with free tuition, you know, everything's going to be solved. It's not. Like, in reality, it's not. Their comparison is, like I said, back from the 18, it's 1826 to compare to now. There's a big difference. There's a lot of things that time has elapsed and stuff. So, what would happen if, you know, all of, like, like if we stop paying for wars and we stop paying for um, social security and health care and things like that, maybe then free tuition would be something that we can think about. However, um, to just like to reinstate like my point being is if we do have free tuition, it'll help the rich and the poor are still going to struggle. It doesn't matter if they have free tuition or not. Like there's a lot of people now that go to school for free and they still show they still have the debt because they still can't make ends meet they work two three jobs and it has nothing to do with the cost of living the cost of living and tuition ha does not correlate at all the cost of living depends on the economy now tuition is the state it's state based it's not the national like okay well all of the universities are going to increase because you know every like um everywhere in the nation like it's making it easier to live except in california new york and like florida and places like that it doesn't it doesn't work that way so um so like to reinstate like what would happen like honestly what would happen if there's people who do have free education but you still can't manage to, to get food you still have no gas to get to work and stuff like that like what would you do <laughs> and then um, to just to reinstate what he said earlier, he said that you know in Louisiana there are uh, I think he said five fifty thousand that graduated. However, forty percent of the like forty percent of the people actually dropped out before those people because because of the fact that um, because of the fact that they weren't college ready. So why are you going to give free tuition to people who are just going to waste their time? use up all the resources and drop out, like just saying. And um, the motivation, motivation and success comes from struggle. And if you don't go through the struggle of saying, you know what, I paid, I worked for my degree and all of that, then you really can't say, you know, you, you're not going to stay motivated. And your parents sure, like your parents sure won't be, be motivated. And like then the degree that you do get is going to be a less of a value. Because the, like everyone can get it, you know what I mean. If everyone has free cookies, okay. Everyone has free cookies. Everyone has free tuition. Hey, everyone has it. That doesn't that doesn't make your degree any valuable at all because it's free. You know what I mean. People have to go through the struggle in order to fall in love with the process in order to succeed. And if you can't go through that, then you're just you're just taking you're taking you're taking and there's nothing behind it. Um, and to um, address their solvency issues, there are actually there are actually a lot of programs that actually do help students the Obama forgiveness loan. Basically, and to wrap that up, it's if you pay like a lot of students will qualify. If you pay at least half of the loan that you already paid within about ten year span, your entire loan will get wiped out. There are so many grants that are out there. There are so many scholarships. There, there, you know, school. This school alone gives away at least six to seven thousand dollars for each semester in scholarships and a lot of people don't know that the money is there for your for your um for your for your education you just got to go and look for it 